Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sri Devanai Nagarajan, Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today, we are going to discuss about knowledge discovery process in data mining. So before getting into KDD process, knowledge discovery in the database is shortly called as KDD process. Before discussing about KDD process, we will see the definition of data mining. Data mining is the process of extracting interesting knowledge or pattern from large amount of databases. So it is also a set of activity which is used to find hidden, new, unexpected and unusual pattern from large amount of database. This data mining, it's a confluence of uh, many subjects or many disciplines like statistics, visualization, database technology, machine learning, pattern recognition, algorithm, visualization, and other disciplines. Now, let us discuss the definition of KDD process. KDD is the process of automatic discovery of previous unknown pattern, rules, and other regular content from large amount of database. Actually, KDD was a name which was given to data mining at the initial stage during the evolution of data mining. But after its uh, due course of evolution, it was given the name database and this data mining is one of the um, steps of KDD process. The following are the steps that are involved in KDD process. First one is data cleaning, then data integration, data selection, data transformation, then we are having the important work data mining, patent evaluation and knowledge representation. Actually, this diagram briefly explains about the KDD process. At the beginning, at the lowermost part, we are having the data. The data here represents or it is the data that is selected from different different databases which is of heterogeneous data and they are of different types and they are collected from different sources. It is present in the place called data warehouse. From this data warehouse data, something called data selection is to be done. The selected data to be processed, that is the work called data pre-processing is to be done in this vast amount of data. This During this deep data pre-processing, noisiness and other erroneous data can be removed so that the data becomes cleaned data. So, in this cleaned data, data transformation is happening, that is transform the data to the form in which it can be set into the data mining process. So, after the transformation, data is sent into the data mining techniques. So, the output of data mining techniques is, which I told already, that is which are all hidden pattern or unusual pattern or the output of this data mining techniques. Evaluation for this pattern is happening and after the patterns are evaluated, they are presented to the user as a knowledge. So, this diagram shortly explains about this KDD process. Now, let us discuss about each and every step in a detailed manner. First step is data cleaning. Data cleaning means it is defined as the removal of any noisiness or irrelevant or unnecessary values or unnecessary data from the database. So, this data cleaning also involves cleaning in the case of any missing value that is handling of missing values is done here. Cleaning also involves uh, removing noisiness from the data. Noisy data means it can be any random error or any variance error. So, cleaning also in, done by using some of the techniques such as data discrepancy detection and data transformation tools. So, after this first process or after this first step, the data in our hands is, will be a very clean data without any error and without any noisiness. Next one is data integration. Data integration is uh, defined as a uh, heterogeneous data from multiple uh, sources. So, here we will be having data from different different sources. All these data from different sources to be integrated into a single form. So, this integration can be done by using some of the tools which are called as data migration tools, data synchronization tools. The integration is also done by using a process called ETL process. ETL means extraction, loading and transforming the data to the necessary format. So, in the second step, we are integrating data from different different sources. 
and they are ready for the next step. Next one is data selection. So, after integrating data from different different format, we have to select the relevant data that is needed for the present data mining process. So, this some of the data selection methods are decision trees, naive bayes, regression, clustering and neural networks. So, by using any of these techniques, the relevant data that is needed for the current data mining process is selected. Next step or the fourth step in KDD process is data transformation. The data to be transformed to the appropriate form so that it can be applied to the data mining techniques. So, there are two steps in data transformation. First step is called data mapping. Actually, the data from the source form to be converted into the destination form. That is the first step. Second one is code generation. Code generation means the actual code which will transform the source data to the destination data will be returned and it gets implemented. So, at the end of fourth step data is transformed to the particular format so that it is suitable for data mining process. The fifth step is the important step in KDD process that is data mining. So, as we saw earlier data mining is the process of finding hidden technique or unusual pattern from large amount of database. So, it it is also called as it is a it will transform the task relevant data into unusual pattern or hidden pattern or interesting patterns. So, here in this step it is important to find out the specific model which is needed for the functionality that we are performing now. So, that model can be a classification model, association model or clustering model. So, selection of the specific model that is needed for our data mining process is a vital step in this step 5. Next uh, step in KDD process is pattern evaluation. So, the data mining uh, technique will uh, give uh, many patterns on all these patterns are to be evaluated and this evaluation can be done by using some of the measures like interestingness scores can be given to each and every pattern. The patterns can also be uh, evaluated by finding how they are summarizing and visualizing the techniques so that it can be easily understood by the user. So, in this step we are evaluating the pattern which are given by the data mining techniques. And the last step of KDD process is knowledge representation. So, once the patterns are uh, given by the data mining techniques they are evaluated and these patterns to be uh, given to the user or presented to the user by using some of the visualization tools. Some of the visualization tools through which the patterns can be presented to the user or it can be presented in the form of reports, tables, discriminant rules, classification rules, characterization rules, etc. So, finally, this KDD process is an iterative process in which we can enhance the evaluation measures for the pattern, uh, the mining methods can be refined or new data can be integrated to the previously unknown data so that we can find more and more unexpected, unusual, hidden and interesting pattern from the database that will be useful to the user. Thank you.